I am so excited this mold finally came. My mold from Let's Resin is here. And I'm so excited because it's an axolotl. Now, if you see my channel, you know I've had an axolotl mold and I've been doing a lot of axolotl magnets and uh, decor. I like magnets, and, but it, it is getting pretty old, pretty used. And the gills are kind of rough and sharp. And I was just so excited to see Let's Resin axolotl mold. This one is not going to be a magnet, so let's get started. So come along with me, Susie Q. Because I also breed axolotls. I love axolotls. But I have been waiting for this mold because it seemed to be a little chunkier, a little smoother. And I am very excited about the size and the shape. <laughs> Very, very exciting. And we're going to do three and six. What if I do the white and add yellow? I wonder. Sure that's three and not two. I can never see these. That's two. I want it to go right up to the mark. So I am using Let's Resin White. <coughs> Now I'm going to start for five minutes, let it degas for five, try to see if I can make this a nice cream color, and a little bit of yellow. But first I'm going to get it stirred around, You're not even there. So I'm going to add a little bit of yellow, because I think, I think the yellow, orange, and I got to put a little bit of orange to make it that creamy. Maybe like this pinkish. Yeah, there we go. Yellow and pink. Oh, not like that. I probably should just use a thingamajobber. Even though it's already white, this is a sheen that I really, really enjoy. Now I'm just going to keep stirring. Nowhere near five minutes anyway. Then I'll let it degas for a while. And I'll show you the beautiful color. Look at this. I just think that's perfect. It's getting a little warm. And let it degas for quite a bit and I like that it the mold is kind of see-through so I'm only going to put about half in and I'm going to make sure there's no bubbles down here it's not in the top one yet <laughs> Oh, how adorable. I just gotta make sure it's in there. I don't want to wait too long. It's I do want to make sure the fingers get in. Especially that one that's a little marred. I 
I do want to see if it comes out okay, then I'm not going to worry about it. But if it doesn't, I think I'm going to contact Let's Resin, see if they want me to send this mold back and get another one. I mean, you can physically see that something's wrong with it. How's that? I think I can do a little bit more. Oh, I really wish it was that real soft, gooey silicone. Like they make the homemade ones in. But I guess I'm glad because I can see right through it. So if there is a bubble that's going to appear here, I'll be able to see it and shake it out. I think there's more room in the arms. Here's my old axolotl mold that I have made, I would say easy, 50 or 60 of these. I bring these, I make the magnets. They're a good seller at the craft fair. Kids love them. I love them. I breathe them, like I said. And with the gills are very sharp and they're very hard to get out of this mold but the, but the ratio of this body is more accurate to what they are than this is a short body which i've never seen a short bodied axolotl there we go so this is my old mold my axolotl mold which i love i use all the time but when I saw Let's Resin had a mold that was larger, smoother, I was like, I have to have. So let's see. I'm going to start with the fingers. Mm -hmm. The fingers are almost always the hardest. Especially this one. It looks like there's something wrong with the mold. And I'll take them out this way. Oh, look at this. It's weird, it's a mold that's up here by his elbow, which is a little crooked. Not by his neck. I'm going to have to take the tail off first, I think. No. It's not that soft of a mold where I can take the tail off first. Huh. I don't want to hurt the gills. I'm very excited about these gills. It's funny, I hear people call them antenna, horns, sticky up things. <laughs> they are the actual gills. Okay. Oh, yeah. Oh my goodness! And I, now I can get the tail out. The tail was a little harder because it's so much better. This tail, because it was open, was open all the way down. I always have to finish it off. This tail was encased in silicone, which makes it better looking and up off the ground, but harder to demold. Look at how cute! Oh my goodness! See, this is the face and the body. The ratio is that long body. So if he had a body that was maybe another two inches longer, this would be a dream mold. I just wish I could make one and then make a mold out of them. Look at that! I'm gonna I'm gonna do the acrylic paints. I think I can't get over it. I'm gonna admire it and admire it and admire it. I'm gonna make more. Okay. So my computer is so old that it does not hold a charge. So as soon as the cord comes out, it stops. But anyway, I use these acrylic markers. Still trying to figure out how am I gonna highlight the smile without 
changing the color. Oh my god, look how cute she is! I love it! I do want to do one more co colorful, but I did need a mascot for my and my stickers. So, this is my logo for Q Aquatics and Exotics. And it has an axolotl on it. So, I'm trying to recreate that axolotl. I did pretty good. A little more yellow. Next time, a little more yellow. And this is the one I've been using. Which is a little bit more accurate of what an axolotl looks like. Ratio-wise, size, body. But bigger, obviously. It's a little one. Yeah, every, but this one's cuter. Look at this cuteness. Okay, that's what I was going for. Mission accomplished. Now I'm going to make one a little more yellowish. Thanks, guys, and I'll see you next time. Hey, everybody, it's Susie Q. Hey, everybody, it's Susie Q. Na, na, hey, everybody, it's Susie Q. So come along with me. Set off soon.